Well, as you know, yesterday I started doing my oxtail dinner and um, I started feeling a little pain and a little fatigue, so I had to stop my video. But I did give you the basics of, you know, the seasoning, how I started out with it. So here is the finished product. What you saw yesterday was the ingredients. You saw me get everything into the pot and... Um, you saw the vegetable uh, concoction I made in the blender. And all that stuff is in here. I think the last thing you saw me do was sprinkle some flour to thicken for a gravy. Well, here is the finished product. The butter beans are in there. I like to put carrots in there. It gives it a good flavor. And um, I did not season anymore because the season was fine. These things are so tender. I mean, oh my goodness. Huh? It can melt in your mouth. It smells good. The flavor is good. You can taste all the seasons. That oxtail season I showed you is the bomb.com. That's all I got to say. This right here is good. I made a little part of cabbage. And in that cabbage, the only thing that's in there is um, onion, red onion. It's the orange pepper. And I used the cooking with the green season on this one. I used the herb. There's no salt the herb seasoning and I used the maple bacon blend and it knocked it out the park I used the pink Himalayan salt this is what I used in here I put a, a little bit of butter and um, then I took and I used just a little just a tad bit of coconut oil let me show you I did just a tad bit right there and that's good then I made some sticky rice this is the sticky rice in here it's beef flavor I'm starting to you know put flavor in all my rice so it makes it sticky and we call it sticky rice and that's beef uh, better than bouillon the beef blend so what I did in, in my water I just put the um, a tablespoon of the better than bouillon in the water and I stirred it in and then I cooked it so and that's what we have here. Yep. And I apologize for my video, but when the pain hit, you know, I was like, oh my God, right in the middle of my video. And I'm pretty sure you guys saw it on my face. I tried to hide it, but got to keep it 100. You know, it hurt, it hurts. So, yes, yeah, so I apologize for that video. But, hey, at the end, the finished product is awesome. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And I normally don't use the Dutch oven for this. I do stovetop like. I don't even do the crock pot, you know. Because I like to just be busy, you know. But this, I needed to do this because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm recovering from my uh, surgery still, you know. And I got to be very careful. So this was an easier way to do things. So I want to say thank you. I hope you enjoy my videos. I want you to please share my videos. Please share those videos, okay? Share them. Take a second and share them for me. But that sticky rice there, that's the easy way to do it. Or you can just use your, um, your um, what you call it, your vegetable stock, chicken stock, beef stock. Put it in the water. Mm -hmm. And that, this is what you get. It's good rice. It tastes a good beef flavor here, a hearty beef flavor. And then, again, I'm, I'm not going to plate this this time, guys, okay? All right, and that's that. Okay, and I'll be back on here. Listen, this may not, let me just say this, this may not make it to the freezer. Like, you want to do half and half, so I'm going to try to freeze it. I don't know if this is going to make it there. I'm going to try it, unless I just take in half it now. You know, that may be the only way to make it to the freezer for another meal. I might do that. But I do know for Joyce Washington, Sunday, I will be making those turkey wings Sunday, okay? Joyce Washington, Sunday will be turkey wings, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to get off now. And uh, I just want to say thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Any comments and stuff, you know, you can always leave them. i like to see some of those. And just continue to share for me, okay? All right, God bless. Bye.